Hey, this is Pastor Curry, pastor of the Easy and Fair Baptist Church, woman to his most exciting church, the church that love ya and anything you could do about it. Today we're coffee with Curry. We are excited because we're still in that month, that season of dealing with stress awareness. Stress has created so many problems for so many people. And if you don't manage it well, it will end your beautiful life. So we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to give you those nuggets and things that you need in order that you may relieve some of the stress that you're going through. In today's show, we have brought back an old friend who was a part of our show before COVID, who had so many things to offer us with the YMCA. And Mr. Campbell is here with us today, and I'm excited about it. I hope you will be excited. As a matter of fact, why don't you call somebody, tell them Coffee with Curry is on, and let's get after it. Good morning, Delaware and surrounding areas. You are now tuned in to this week's Coffee with Curry. Join us every Sunday at 11 a.m. with new guests every week. So grab your cup of coffee and join us on Coffee with Curry. And we're back. As I promised, we have uh, Brother Peter Campbell with us. And you know, let me, before we get started, let me say welcome back Thank to you. Coffee with Curry. It is a joy. You bring such energy when you come. <laughs> so I know you're excited about whatever they're doing with you or you're doing with them in, at the YMCA. Tell us a little bit about your position first, and then we'll get into some of the programs that they, they offer. Absolutely. So thank you for inviting me. This yes. is a great opportunity to do outreach, which is part of my title. Yeah. I'm the outreach and enrollment coordinator for the YMCA YMCA of Delaware's Healthy Living Department. Okay. We have some healthy living programs, four of them, and we want the public to know about them. Many of them are offered at no cost to the participant. Okay. And they come with a four month family membership to the YMCA for active participation in the program. Okay. And so it's about making a healthier community, a healthier person. This creates a healthier Delaware. It drives down costs. It's to everyone's benefit. Mm -hmm. So we have it. We want people to know about it. Yeah, and 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 I happen to be a member of the YMCA right there on, and I tend to go three times a week. So I know that there's so many different things you all offer in your role as the enrollment person. Um, do you find that people, um, once they find out about your services, that they get excited about, or do you find that there's still some um, apathy with trying to induce them to the healthy life? It's a really good question. Yeah. I think there is a group of people when they hear about the program, mm -hmm. they say, oh my gosh, thank goodness, I just got a diagnosis of prediabetes. Uh -huh. And my doctor told me I've got to, I may have to go on to medication mm -hmm. if I don't do something about it. So this is an opportunity to do something about it strictly through, in terms of diabetes prevention, lifestyle change. Yeah. And that makes a whole bit of difference. Now, there's another part of the population that says, nothing to see here. Mm. I'm okay. Everything's fine. Keep a lid on it. Mm. And they don't want to talk about it. And that in particular is a population we want to reach okay. because generally when you're keeping a lid on it, as you mentioned, stress, mm -hmm. that can play a huge role in your health mm -hmm. and it can make what you presently have, which may be an inclination to diabetes worse. Yeah. And so we want to speak to everybody. Mm -hmm. And when you're getting a program that's at no out of pocket cost to yourself, mm -hmm. what's what's holding holding it up right tell me what your per hurdles are we'll work with you oh wow wow so so, so there's a, there's a true commitment the ymc has in trying to make delaware a healthier place to live and diabetes yeah. especially in the african-american community is very high i mean it's in yes. all communities but it's very high in the african-american community particularly with black men oh yeah black men is is unusually high mm -hmm. and i think it may go to the fact that you know it's it we just don't talk men as a general rule don't talk about our health we are there first to help our families mm -hmm. we put our health second or third mm -hmm. and by the time we're getting around to talking about our health maybe we've crossed over into diabetes already and it could have been something that we could have prevented if we had caught it before mm -hmm. and so that's why we want to do outreach it's hard to talk about health it's hard to talk about health when you're on the verge of not doing well. Mm -hmm. But that is exactly the time to talk about it. 
where we can get in there with a program and help you. And it's all about you making choices. Okay. We don't prescribe anything. We just basically talk about lifestyle and the management of food and physical activity. And that's that's the big the big issue. I had a class that I was teaching today and this theme came up over and over again. Oh, that food's not that's a bad food. And I'm like there are no bad foods. It's just food. How you manage it is what matters. Oh. Okay. And that's what makes our program I think successful. Okay. Because people they they realize, "Oh, I don't have to give up the cookies." The answer is no, you don't. It's hard to buy that, but 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 I'm gonna listen to you. It's just hard to buy that one. But 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 okay, you you know what works because you've been doing it. Good. I'm sure. Sorry. Sure. I mean, the the point of the matter is, you have to manage it. So okay. you know, I know that sometimes we get a we get a sleeve of cookies out. We're like, take the whole sleeve and eat okay. it in one fell swoop. Okay. Yeah. And that's probably you're having about six or seven servings of cookies if you do that. Right, right, right. But if you had what it says on the side of the the nutrition label it says a serving of cookies might be two okay okay have two see how you feel you got to have the cookies yeah do you really need to have three mm-hmm. can you live with just two yeah. can you save some for later your budget will go a lot further if you do that yeah. that might make some people think okay you know there there are all sorts of advantages yeah and then see how you see how you feel after two cookies mm-hmm. If you're like I got to have another one. I have another one. You but you know that you're doing it. Okay. Versus I just was sitting in front of the TV and I was mindlessly eating cookies and the next thing I know a whole sleeve of cookies was gone. Right. That's a little different. That's we're asking people to basically eat with mindfulness. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about this program then. So so how do I get involved in it? What do I need to have? Those type of things so I can sure. get a better understanding. So the way the program works is we have to connect. Okay. So we connect either through some health resource fair. I'm at a lot of them and I can meet somebody and I'd say, "Here, fill out this this application for the program." As soon as I get it, I give you a call. Mm. I'll call all of the participants or Malta or Amita on our staff will call the participants. And we will reach out to you and we will tell you the details of the program. We'll qualify you and once we've gotten you into a cohort that would make sense for your schedule, we'll send you a welcome email that will tell you the start date, time, and there'll be a series of of uh, links that you'll have to open and fill out. And then you're fully enrolled. We offer the program in a face-to-face format and a virtual format. Okay. Once you have chosen the lane, that's how the program is delivered. the entire year. We don't have a hybrid. Okay. So that's that's how it, how it works. The program itself is a year in length. But okay. don't be put off by the fact that it's a year in length. We took the year and divided it into three phases. So the first phase of the program, you'll meet once a week, every week for 16 weeks. That's okay. basically 4 months. Right. Every time you meet it's for an hour at a time and it's all group discussion. We don't have any physical activity going. So you come as you are. We'll take your weight at the beginning of every session. And when we get to the end of the first phase of the program, the 16th week, we want you to have achieved two goals. So the first goal, lose 7% of your starting body weight. I don't know about you. When I get on a scale, I don't think, "Oh, look, I lost half of a percentage of my." I think in terms of pounds. Right. So seven percent for most people in a sixteen-week window is somewhere in the neighborhood of ten to twenty pounds of weight loss. Oh, yes. So that's the first goal. The second goal is to increase your cardiovascular activity level to a hundred and fifty minutes per week. Again, to demonstrate what that could look like. If you took a vigorous walk Monday through Friday for half an hour each day, you'll have hit that goal. Okay. And because we are the administrator of the program and we've got the mechanisms to help you to achieve those goals, we are including a 4-month family membership 
to the YMCA as part of your active participation in the program. Okay. So that's to help support the goals. Yeah. So a person like myself who already is a member of the Y, mm -hmm. how do I participate in this program? So it's the same thing as if you're not a member of the Y. Okay. We'll have to connect okay. and I'll ultimately have to speak with you by phone okay. and just you know tell you what I've told you so far okay. about the program and that this is actually going to come to you at no out-of-pocket cost to yourself. Okay. So I don't know if that sounds like a little bit something for nothing. Does that? Well, but I know you said, you said to me that means to my insurance company probably they would have to pay. So to this point, okay. the YMCA has established relationships with various insurance providers in the state of Delaware. Okay. If you carry your insurance through one of those providers, then they will pick up the cost of the program for you. If you don't, or if you have no insurance at all, we have presently some grant money. We will be able to give you a grant to cover the cost of the program. Wow, that's presently. Yeah. I hope that that yeah. continues to be the story. Absolutely. That's why you got to run real quickly and get it done now. Yeah. Let's, let me keep asking the, these type of questions because there are people who are watching and they may be saying, you know, that's something I'm very interested in. A couple of years ago, um, they had um, one Sunday I was preaching in and I couldn't hardly see. It was just really bad. And I went to the doctor the very next day because I do believe in going to the doctor. And the doctor said that um, my blood sugar was up. Okay. Oh, okay. I never had diabetes in my life and never had any issues. But as I got older, I see that there are things that I, I the athlete is gone now. So you got to you got to stay active and things of that nature. So if a person is in like a situation like I was in, but I was able to stop certain things, do certain things. And I do go to the to gym two or three times a week just to stay in order. But I'm not really losing the weight that I may want to your program, though. It, it's, it's an accountability piece, I think, uh, that may be missing even in my program. So a person who says, you know what, not only do I want to um, be healthy, but I do want to lose those pounds. Right. I do want to, I want to, and, and having somebody accountable, how does that look? How do you hold me accountable for the weight loss? We take your weight at the beginning of every okay. session. Okay. And I keep a running tally as to how things are going. Okay. And if you're consistently gaining weight in the program, I'm going to turn to you and say, why do you think that is? Well, I don't know. I said, do you track? Do you track everything that you eat and drink for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks? That is one of the key elements to success in the diabetes prevention program is tracking everything that you eat and drink. And let's be honest, be honest. Mm. Be honest in your tracking. If you had a whole sleeve of cookies mm. and you say, oh, I have to turn that tracker into Peter. I don't want to, I'll just say I had like two servings. Who is that benefiting? Absolutely. It's not benefiting you. And it, I, I'm just, I'm just a neutral party. Mm. I'm only looking at what you tell me. If you're telling me a lie, then that's not really benefiting you. Absolutely. Say I actually ate a whole sleeve of cookies. I said, Great, that is awareness. You know what's happened. Now you know what you can do. What's something that you could do? Maybe eat fewer cookies. Maybe eat the cookies less frequently during the course of the week. Maybe change brand of cookies so that you find something that's not so, so heavy and dense in calories. You can even give up cookies altogether. But as I said earlier, Food is food. There's no such thing as bad food. It's just food and it's how you manage it. And you said 16 weeks is the start, the first that's quarter. That's the first phase of the program. And, yes. and that's basically hold the accountability of making sure that the person uh, weight is being taken consistently. Yes. They're talking about it, tracking what they're eating. Yes. Um, and they're meeting once a week, once a week. Right. Now, for example, let's say if a person get in, is it like a certain 16 weeks got to pass before they can start the program because because you already have another cohort already in. How, how does that work? So we have multiple cohorts that start throughout the course of the year. Okay. We run anywhere from two, three, sometimes four, or even in particular months like January, we may run five cohorts that start that month mm -hmm. and we do it every month. So let's say you wanted to, you see that there's a, a cohort that's going to be starting in your area 
that you could take in person next week. And, but the timing isn't quite right. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we may have something later. Mm -hmm. It's not one of these things where we're saying, oh, you better get on board now or that ship's gonna sail. No, there's always an opportunity to take this program throughout the course of the year as you're starting, as at your starting point, okay. when it makes sense for you. Now, where do you all meet? We meet in person. We can meet in a conference room at the YMCA, local YMCAs, up and down the state. Okay. So we serve the entire state from, from Sussex to Newcastle counties. Okay. Um, we also offer it in the virtual format so that you could take it from the comfort and safety of your anywhere that you get internet access. So even if you're traveling, you could still take the class. Um, so that's how we offer the program in terms of modes of offering. Now, are there any um, like nutritional pieces of your program where, um, for example, if, if they say, if let's say diabetes is really what a person is trying to combat or sure. to deal with. Um, if, if I go to the supermarket and I get the no sugar candy, mm -hmm. will there be someone to advise that still you need to eat the portion that's supposed to eat? Because when you're dealing with diabetes, it's a lot, it's different than trying to lose the weight. It's trying to make sure your sugar intake is, is appropriate. Do you have any education sessions in that area as well? So because the coach is not a registered dietitian okay. or a nutritionist, okay. we're not allowed okay. to prescribe. Okay. I can't tell you, you should eat this, you should eat that. That is actually for a dietitian to say. Okay. We look at it from the perspective of lifestyle. I am going to eat cookies no matter what you tell me. Mm -hmm. Great, so let's, in that, in that scenario, let's work with that. Let's, let's keep cookies on the menu, but let's manage it differently. Whereas uh, someone who is a registered dietitian may be very strict in telling you what to eat, mm -hmm. and you have to adhere to that. Understood. That's not so much what we're about, but we do know that with weight loss can come with weight loss and increased physical activity can come a decrease in your blood glucose levels. Absolutely, absolutely. And then it's a matter of keeping it yeah. off. Now, so, so, <coughs> so the question, I guess, and we're gonna go to a commercial break, but the question is how do I get in touch with Peter Campbell? Good question. 302-572-9622. is also YMCA. So 302. 572-9622. That will get the Healthy Living Department directly. We are the ones that do the registration. The branches do not. Okay. So you have to come through us first and we will register you, we'll tell you, answer all your questions about this program. Mm -hmm. And then you're good to go. Uh, so this is the first program. We got two more we're going to talk about today. But do you have any more information you want to give on that particular one? We know how to call. We're going to call that 302 number and we're going to get you and we're going to figure it out. And and, and I hope that, the, like you said, if they don't have the time that that that, that a person may want, don't, don't get too upset. We'll, yep. we'll figure it all we'll out. Figure it we'll all figure it all out. We'll figure, we'll figure, it, figure all out. it all out. Well, I hope that you're getting some good information because this is something that you may want to really, really consider. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to come back and talk about another program they have. We'll be right back. Greetings, I'm Representative Sherry Dorsey Walker of the 3rd District, and I am running for Lieutenant Governor for the state of Delaware. I have previously served on the Wilmington City Council, I served on the Board of Parole, and I am in my sixth year, my third term as a state representative, and I am seeking your vote on September 10th, 2024, to be your next Lieutenant Governor. I believe I am uniquely qualified for this position. Please consider voting for me on September September 10th, 2024. You can also become involved with the campaign by going to my website, www.sherry, spelled S-H-E-R-R-Y, Dorsey, D-O-R-S-E-Y, Walker, W-A-L-K-E-R, that's sherrydorseywalker.com, and you're welcome to make a contribution. Sign up to volunteer, host a party, Join us for parades, but please consider voting for me on September 10th, 2024 to be your next Lieutenant Governor. May God bless you and continue to be a shining light in your life.
just a starting line. For the true self glooms, only when we find our purpose, what makes us tick below the surface. My why is diversity and unity, a safe space in my community, living with sincerity, giving every day my everything. With my why, I stand strong, seen and supported all along. For some, their why is a summer under stars, memories and moments, connections near and far. Why is the before work hustle, an after school home, a section of my block, a corner to call my own? Our reason why is united, undivided, seeking understanding. Here, a handshake is a promise. All our hearts are dancing. Clapping is our song. It's kinship, friendship, tide rising with the ship. It's a million faces in a mirror, and everyone belongs. Find your why for a better us. And we're back. And as I, I'm really enjoying this conversation that I'm having with uh, Mr. Campbell or Peter or whichever language, whichever lane, name you like to be called by, which one do you like? You can call me Peter. I can call you Peter. <laughs> okay. I am, I'm really fascinated with, with, with what you all are offering and you're offering it for free. And I just think that this is just something amazing. And as I was saying to you on the commercial break, I, I think I might want to do, I might join in yes. and then to come back and then we can do a show to see how it all turned out. But so I need some people to join me. That's what I need. So so let's make some phone calls and join in. And I'm going to join. I think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to do it. I just pray the time in the evening work out. We'll do something. We'll yeah. get something together. Okay. And right. you know, we also do this as, as another thing. If there is an area, for example, if there are all of these parishioners who come here mm -hmm. and they want to do it here, okay, because you have support among people that you know, mm -hmm. we could send a coach. Okay. And have how it many done people here. would you need to, to do in order to send a coach over here? I think we'd like to have at least 12 to 15 people. Okay, well, there's a challenge. I need five, 12, 15 people. To, well, I'm going to be one. So we're going to need at least another 12 of you to say, I want to come to East Island Fair and we do it right here. I think that would be awesome. And, and of course, we do have to find the coach that can. Okay. But, you yeah. know, let's, let's, let's open up all possibilities. Understood. Let's see what we can do. Mm -hmm. It's about reaching out. And then the we'll community. come back after a quarter or so to see where we are and see how things went. You think that'd be great? That'd be great. We have another program. Yes, I Live do. Strong. Let's Live talk a little strong. bit about that. Live Strong at the YMCA is a an exercise program for cancer survivors. This is a 12 week long program. You meet twice a week, every week for 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. And each time that you meet, it's for an hour and a half. Okay. It is going to concentrate on cardio, cardio fitness, mm -hmm. strength training, balance and flexibility and also meditation mm. as a component of Live Strong. At some point during the course of this, you know, 12 week long program, we'll invite guest speakers to come in and they'll talk about resources that are out there for you mm. as a survivor of cancer, whether it is a lymphedema issue or a financial issue or a mental health issue we will find someone to come in and address issues that the group as a whole would like to hear more about. And we do a pre-assessment with the participant before the program begins, in which we are looking at you physically, doing some cardio test, a strength test, a balance test, and a flexibility test. And we'll do the same tests at the end of the program to see if there's improvement. But we'll also do what I'd like to call a lifestyle questionnaire, where on a scale of what, one to 10, how would you rate your level of pain? How would you rate your level of sleep? How would you rate the quality of your life? And ask certain questions before and after, and see what the impact of the program is. And as we usually see improvement physically in everyone's uh, lives as a result of taking Livestrong. I tell you the one thing that seems to come back over and over as a comment from participants is this. I met people who understood my journey. The cancer journey is unique. It is emotionally fraught. And when you have other people in your cohort who are taking the, who have taken the journey, maybe are on the same journey right now with you, maybe are beginning the journey, 
it creates cohesion among the group and they just create bonds of friendship with each other that last well beyond wow. the end of Live Strong. Wow. Yeah. And this is a time when they really need a community. Truly. Most. Wow. Yeah. And y'all offer that too at no cost. At no cost. And wow. we don't do that through insurance. That's through grants. Okay. So a, a thing that I, I'm not sure that everyone knows this, but the YMCA of Delaware is a nonprofit organization. Right. So our whole mission is about giving back to the community, building strong communities. That's part of our mission statement. And so this is the YMCA really putting putting our money where our mouth is right. and going to the community and saying, hey, we've got this for you. Take advantage of what we've got right. because we want to see you healthier. We want to see communities healthier and we want to see the state of Delaware healthier. Mm. It just it, it creates a better quality of life for everybody. Yeah, that's really good. So, so we we talked about this live strong, and this is really more on the those who are suffer who are living with cancer. We earlier talked about the diabetes piece, and both items are stressful. But your goal has been and is one: well, you're taking away the stress because you're giving it away free. Um, but you're looking for commitment. Yes. Talk to me a little bit about why it is essential that for any of these programs to work, that once they get in, they see it to the end. Well, we love the fact that at the beginning, people are enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. If there's no enthusiasm for the program, it's unlikely that you're going to be uh, continuing on past the third or fourth session. Mm -hmm. But when there is that enthusiasm and we're looking at programs that are 12 weeks long, mm -hmm. that are a year long, mm -hmm. at some point, you start getting acclimated to that, oh yeah, everyone's feeling great and now it's just a normal thing. Mm -hmm. And then you could just start to feel yourself dying off in, the, in, in terms of your enthusiasm. It's important to stay focused. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, how are you going to get to the ultimate goal? Right. How are you going to get to the ultimate? In Livestrong, maybe your goal is to sleep better. Maybe the goal is to live with less pain, have greater movement in your life. If you aren't committed to it, then you won't see it out to the goal level. Absolutely. The same thing is true with diabetes prevention. Yes, program. that's right. And, and that's one of the reasons why I brought it up, because I know that some people start out strong. Finishing is the issue. So so, so it's like, uh, I'm, I'm excited about it, but will you be able to stay excited? It's yeah. going to be the goal of really reaching the goal. And that's part of the coach's mm -hmm. uh, involvement. Mm -hmm. When you come to diabetes prevention, live strong, any of our healthy living programs, the coaches believe very strongly in these programs. They know what can happen when participants succeed. They see it happening. They see the enthusiasm they have at each small success. I'm able to lift more weight after having gone through chemotherapy and I feel stronger than I did four weeks ago. Let's celebrate. That's a Absolutely. great thing. Absolutely. Or, you know, I am in a diabetes prevention program. I lost uh, five pounds in six weeks. I, you know, I'd say take a five, go upstairs into the fitness center, take a five pound dumbbell. You lost that. Right. That's not on That's your right. body anymore. That's right. And people don't look at it that way. They don't look at it that way, but it's good to take those accountings yes. every now and then. And that's where the coach can come in yeah. to help you stay motivated. Yeah. Okay. And I was going to say, so that is really the coach's job is to coach you, is to, is to motivate you, to get you moving and saying, okay, I can do this. I can do this. Do you have any persons who, who, who have come back and said, you know, I'm, this has changed my life. I mean, the programs that you have as we say. Let me tell you, I have it happen at various stages. I was on the phone one time with, with this woman. She started to cry because we had knocked down every barrier that would have prevented her from taking it. And she couldn't believe it. And here she was getting the program. It was fitting her needs. She was just grateful at the start of it. Then you have these participants at the end of the first phase of diabetes prevention, they've hit their goals, they went and got blood work, 
and they discovered they're no longer pre-diabetic. Oh, wow. Excellent. And they're just like, I'm so happy. Yeah. And then it's a matter of, now let's stay happy. Yeah. With people in Livestrong, as the weeks go by and the bonds get stronger among the participants, mm -hmm. you just see everyone benefiting from that good energy. And they're also getting stronger. Right, right. And these are the things that, that are the hallmarks of our programs. When you can see the value in it, in your personal life, I, I, it's, 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 it makes you say as a coach, I could do this without, without a salary. It's so enriching to see participants succeed. Yeah, and, I'm, and I'll say to those of you who are watching us today that if, you know, one of the things, even if we don't get it here, but I believe we can get 15 people easily. Um, I, I want to try this because when we're talking about stress, when we're talking about life as a whole, our health really matters. Neither the Peter or myself are doctors as it relates to medical, but we understand the value of living a quality life. Can I say that? Can I make that assumption? Absolute truth. And so I think that I'm going to challenge, call the church. We'll call Peter together. But the whole goal is to make sure we connect with Peter because it's his program. But I want to be a part of Pastor Curry's journey. And let's deal with this diabetes and it, it, not only just diabetes but we talked about the cancer piece too now that probably wouldn't be well I, I don't know which route everything is going to go he said he has to get a coach in order for it to really happen here at Ezion Fair but I'm going to try and push to get us 15 people and we're going to walk this journey together definitely going to do the diabetes one. I don't have it um, but it's, it fluctuates because you know once they saw they said out my sugar was high I did all the things I needed to do but every so often I got to go back and have a piece of cake and some other things. Yep. And, and I don't always work out to the level that I need to, but this will hold accountability. You will be able to see the changes, but some of you can journey with me. So I think this is going to be excellent. And I'm looking forward. If you call the church 302-652-9114 and say, Pastor, I'd like to join with you. And then we can call Peter together and we can really try to pull this together. And then we come on a show. And what we'll do is we'll bring some, uh, uh, some bags of fat. Oprah Winfrey did it that way. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you, some of you have been saying, well, I saw that before. Or we can bring some weights because we have a gym over here that have weights on it. And we can show how much we've lost and, and, and show the value of it and how we'll be much happier, much more complete. That's the goal with me. My goal is to live. There's a scripture in the Bible, Peter, and I'm not here to preach a sermon, but there's a scripture in the Bible that says, however many years one lived, this is in Proverbs, enjoy every one of them and that's the key if you're sick if your 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 mental is not where it needs to be you can't enjoy your life what peter is offering us from the why at no cost is just remarkable and that's the truth of nonprofit. you're not trying to profit off of people but you're trying to help them and too many people you may be walking around with diabetes and don't even know it um, I just so happen to be very cognizant of my, my life. So I'm always, anything go wrong, I'm running to the doctor. At one point he called me a hypochondriac because I, I will go to the doctor if I don't do anything else. But for those of you who are watching, let's try to do this journey together and see how that can work out. And we do a show that really gives us the first quarter. Where are we in that first quarter? And that's going to be very important. So it, it's, this is really good. I'm very glad you even talked about the first two because both of them affect the community who watches our shows. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, this is great because the more that you take the program mm. and you succeed in the program and you tell your friends, the friend is more influenced by you and your experience than by me telling you about it. Absolutely. So absolutely. I may be kind of enthusiastic and, mm. and a little bit crazy about how I, I do it and I'm so full of energy about mm. it. But that only goes so far. And when you hear it from a friend and the friend says, oh yeah, I got you gotta do that program. You are more inclined to do it than if you just heard it from me. Absolutely, absolutely. So so I'm looking forward to that. And, and we, we still got more programs. We got, got one, well, one and a half more programs that we wanna talk about. So I just want, I get excited. Whenever we can change lives. See, my, my whole goal as a pastor is to change lives. Yes. But 
I believe you have to be physically fit, mentally alert, and spiritually alive in order to be whole. So if you're just spiritual and you're not physical, how are you going to be an asset to the kingdom or to the things that you believe in? So what you're offering, I think it is very good. And I think sometimes you have to have people who some people know, try it and see. And if it's not worth the time, they will see that too. Yeah. But I doubt very seriously if that would be the case. I, I, I certainly am counting on that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. At the YMCA, there is something for everyone. You're going to take a deep breath. Couple more, Nadine. You got it. Whether it's fitness options, swimming, or camp, you will find a place to achieve, connect, and belong. Find your place at the Y. Join today. Hi, I'm Stan Waterman, head men's basketball coach at Delaware State University. Enjoying the opportunity to be here today with Dr. Curry. Um, having an opportunity to speak about our program down at Delaware State University. Hopefully you had a chance to catch the show. Um, again, we, we've asked for supporters. Come on out, support us uh, financially, friend raising. Come on out to games. We just need your support in the stands. However you can do it, get behind us. Uh, we, we are looking to do big things in 23-24. Thank you. How to know if you should reach out to a friend. Your friend might be worried, sad, grumpy, angry, stressed, weird, rebellious, anxious, antisocial, lonely, sleeping less, sleeping more, eating less, eating more. Look, there are a lot of things to watch out for, but you know your friend best. So if they're not acting themselves, why not say something? Find out how you can help a friend with their mental health at SeizeTheAwkward.org. Awkward. Join us for an evening of unity and support. Come out to the Congo Legacy Center on Thursday, May 2nd, from 6 to 8 p.m. and rally behind Sherry Dorsey Walker, candidate for Lieutenant Governor. This fundraiser, hosted by family and friends of Sherry Dorsey Walker, promises an inspiring evening as we rise to unify. Tickets are $100. Please don't miss this opportunity to show your support and be a part of the movement. See you there. And we're back. Great conversation with Peter. This has been really refreshing. This has been a joy. Uh, when we first connected uh, a couple years ago, he was sharing some of the things that the Y uh, had to offer. And we ran right into COVID, so we weren't able to really explore them. Now we're doing the full circle and coming back. And I'm going to join in. And I really want to look forward to seeing what it's going to do as it relates to some of the people who may join me yes. in this journey. We have one more I want to talk about, mm -hmm. and and that's um, lean. If you can just tell us a little bit about that, so maybe we can get an understanding on what sure. that program is about. Lean was born out of this scenario. Okay. I go to a lot of health fairs, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. and I had the diabetes prevention program on my table, and people would come up and they'd look at it and they say, "Oh, I've already got it." I said, "Oh, you, I can't get you into the diabetes prevention program if you already have diabetes." And then I would have to give them resources outside of the YMCA, mm -hmm. like through the state of Delaware. Mm -hmm. And the question came up, can we do something for this population that has diabetes? Mm -hmm. Well, there was a program that was started in the YMCA in Virginia, and we found out about it and we brought it on board. It's called LEAN. And LEAN is actually an acronym. It stands for Lifelong Essentials for Activity and Nutrition. And a lot of the, it, it's, it's different from the diabetes prevention program. Here's how it's different. It's only 14 weeks in length. Yeah. You meet once a week, every week for 14 weeks, 
And each time that you meet, it's for an hour and a half. We took the hour and a half and divided it into two sections. The first section is group discussion, just like in the diabetes prevention program. There'll be a topic, we'll discuss it for 45 minutes, and then in the last 45 minutes, we'll all head up to the fitness center and we'll work out together, either on um, in the fitness center on, on machines, or the coach can lead everyone in a group fitness class. So you get physical activity and the group discussion combined together. Sometimes there'll be a trip off campus. So we like to take people into a grocery store and we might have an activity like, okay, put together a healthy breakfast basket, go. And you'll go around the store and you may choose things, choose items. Oh, this says it's, it's natural and healthy. This has got to be good. Put it in the basket. We all share. And I pull out that thing that said healthy and natural. And we look at the ingredients mm. and we look at the nutrition label and we discover, oh, not so healthy after all. Right. These are great marketing words, but the real proof is in the pudding. It's in the nutrition label. Mm. That's going to tell you what am I eating? I am looking at these ingredients. I cannot even pronounce some of them. Mm. Ooh. I don't know what that word that I can't pronounce is. Right. Okay. So you're going to be eating that. Just saying, is that how you want to proceed? And bring an awareness to how you shop for food, knowing that the perimeter is very different from what's in the center of the store. And placement of things at eye level is a premium place yeah. for manufacturers of food. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of things to think about when you're purchasing food and we address it directly in that particular session. We'll even do a session where we may cook something together. That's a healthy meal for the group to enjoy. So that's very different from the diabetes prevention program. It's shorter. It is an out of pocket cost. Okay. I like to be transparent about that. Okay. It's $375 for non-members of the Y, $202.50 for members of the Y, okay. unless you have Highmark health options. That particular brand of Highmark will cover the cost for their members. Okay. It does come with a four month family membership to the Y, so I think that would offset the cost it would. of, yes. the, of yeah. the program itself. Right. And look at the knowledge that you get. Right. And if, if nothing else, you'll be able to come into the Y at least that once a week and work out. So when you were talking about like a physical fitness piece, because I, I don't want people to be nervous who are watching us. Um, if I'm out of overweight and I really don't, I'm not as mobile as I need to be. How would you be able to work with me? How would your coaches be able to work with me? It's, it's brilliant that you bring that up mm -hmm. because we want to meet people wherever they okay. are at their level of fitness. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about the YMCA, we have a whole range of options whether it's a group fitness class or whether it is a lot of people, I can't do anything with, with lower body because of my foot. We've got cardio machines just for your upper body. You can set it as easy or as difficult as you want. There's where we try to meet you on your health journey. So it's, it's important to know that we're trying for those kinds of questions that you're bringing up, which are totally legitimate. And a lot of you might be feeling that way we can help you. Right. We can meet you. It's better to start off slow and start building than to say, oh, they're going to ask me to do something really tough and I'm not going to be able to do it. So I'm just not going to do it at all. No, let's meet you where you are. Let's meet you where you are. Everyone's at a different level in the class. Mm -hmm. And we just want you to get to where you need to be to see the improvements in your health. Are your coaches um, that sensitive to be able to do that with the individuals? Yeah, they go through training before they become coaches. Mm -hmm. And many of them have been personal trainers already. Mm -hmm. And so they have been working with clients and they understand the health journey. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it makes them ripe candidates to become lifestyle coaches mm -hmm. because they already know what this is like. And so with the extra 
um, education that they get from us to be a lifestyle coach, they are ready to go. They are ready to go. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I think this is really great. Now, you all, you have that 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 lean um, 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 program, and while there may be a cost, really, if you're a member of the Y, it's kind of like a wash. But if you're not a member um, and don't have the Blue Cross and Blue Shield, and that's important if you do have that piece on your Blue Cross and Blue Shield, then certainly it'll take care of it. But if you don't, then for three hundred fifty dollars, I mean, I think we we are right. And yeah, just consider that the the membership that comes with it, with your active participation in the program, you know, that does offset the cost of that member of, of the of the membership itself if you're not a member presently mm-hmm. so and I, I also like to say for those who may look at the YMCA and say I won't be able to afford the membership I say oh contraire mon frere here's what you can do the YMCA has open doors memberships these are designed with a financial need in mind check that out it's on our web page financial assistance is available and you can get up to I think it was last I heard up to 70% off the cost of a membership oh wow and that's because we understand we are in the community we want to reach everybody so open doors is there for people who want to be part of the community who want to join but they say I can't afford it based on the pricing I say go to open doors We'll, we'll ask you to show us that you have a financial need. And then once we review the application and your financials, then we'll make the decision and then we'll present it to you. And then you may say, finally, I can be part of this now. Gotcha. Yeah, and that really speaks to the commitment you all have for a healthy Delaware. Exactly. Um, if, if a person, um, like for example, the memberships that you're saying, you can go for three months, for free are they family I mean, four months I'm sorry four months are they family memberships or are they just individual memberships They're family memberships oh wow so it's two adults up to four children oh wow that's, 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 that's and part wow. of it think about that if it was just the individual mm-hmm. then no one else in the household benefits mm-hmm. from the physical activity they could be supporting you in if you all went to the YMCA together yeah, yeah. and so creating a healthy family unit sort of the foundation of creating healthy communities. So that's why there was a decision made to make this two adults plus up to four children. Wow, that's 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 that's, that's a nice um, mem- a healthy membership. That's a lot of people too. Exactly. Um, and, 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 and so now that we are getting close to the end of our show, I want to make sure that they can contact Peter because there are some people don't want to connect with Easy and Fair. They just want to come straight to you and that's what we want. Sure. How do they contact you again? 302-572-9622. 302-572-9622. Remember, 9622 is YMCA. So I guess you could say 302-572-YMCA. Good. And sometimes they can remember those letters better than they can remember the numbers. So that's just awesome. So so I'm, we're going to, as we're closing down and shutting down, I'm just grateful that you came and took time today. You We had a very busy schedule today, but I'm very glad you took time today to be a part of this conversation. We, are, we, are, we believe that the, if we're going to combat stress, it starts with our lifestyle. It starts with our life. Because Absolutely. if you're healthy, everything you you you, you interact with becomes healthy. Do you I, that? I agree with that 100%. And thank you again for giving me the opportunity to tell all of you all about this program. Uh, it's, it's the way to get the word out. Otherwise, it's like a light under a bushel. Right, okay. Now, I, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna, for those of you who are watching, once we get started with the program, whether it's if nobody else wants to join me and I go by myself and I got to go wherever they send me, I want Peter to be the one to come back and share where I started at and where we ended for that quarter. So we're going to have to book you for that quarter <laughs> end. So, sure. that, so you may not be the coach, but you'll have all the information and the data from the coach. And because we really want to show that these type of programs work, people spend thousands of dollars to get what you're offering for free. And honestly, I'm not saying that just to say that. It costs to have a coach and to to be able to to do some of the things that they're offering for free. So I would, if I would suggest 
that you would call Peter. Get it, get on, get in contact with him right away. Say, look, I want to be a part of it. And once you're committed and you commit yourself, stick with it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, and you're going to hold me accountable because in, a, in the next quarter we're going to come back, and and I got some seniors who will say, I haven't heard from Peter, <laughs> so so I know I got to do it now, and and we're going to make sure that we show you how the program works, and 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 I'm 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 motivated. I want to I really want to do it. Excellent. I enjoy doing things that 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 one can help encourage and motivate someone else. And I can but, sign you up right now. Well, you would, <laughs> if you had the sheet in right, sit in front of you, I'll do it. But I'm going to definitely do it because I want to bring you back, and then we can show how it works. Perfect. From the weight to the to, 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 to the whole program and the commitment piece, I want to make sure that they see it does matter. Absolutely. Well, Peter, thank you so very much for taking time to be with me today, thank and you. I'm just honored again to be with you, and and you bring such energy and and such uh, strength to y'all commitment to serve in humanity. And we appreciate you for that. Thank, Thank you. you so very much. We'll be right back. Your zip code. Just one number different and you might have a whole other life. Different school. Different job. Different dreams. Different problems. In America, the zip code you're born in can determine your future. The Y works to change that with programs and services that help everyone thrive, no matter who you are or where you're from. For a better us, donate to your local Y today. Delaware State University is not only an anchor HBCU in the state and across the nation, but is redefining the HBCU mission for today's world. We are committed to long-term, consistent, and responsible growth. Yeah. Do you have the app? Yes, I do. I am pleased to be able to award the HBCU Sports Production Grant to Delaware State University. And like so many of our brother and sister HBCU institutions across the country, offering one of the highest returns on investment in higher education. Building the whole student, enhancing operational effectiveness, and improving the physical plan. We're just hoping that her legacy will be a catalyst for change. We are unafraid to be the people we are called to be. Delaware State University rises in rankings. Securing a healthy future. Our clarion call remains the same. Becoming the most substantively diverse, contemporary, and unapologetic HBCU in the country. We are Delaware State University. And we're back. 
what a great show today. I'm very grateful that Peter took time to come and be with us from the YMCA. Uh, he is very passionate about the services and the goods that they provide at the Y, especially in his area about healthy living. He wants Delaware to become the most healthy state in America. And I join in that quest. For those of you who are above that age 50, like I am, <laughs> you wanna make sure that you keep your body in fighting trim. Not, is everybody is not gonna be, you know, skinny, but you can all be healthy. You don't know what you're going through until sickness hits you and then you have neglected your health and then you start declining quickly. Today's show is to deal with stress, but to also offer you an opportunity to see that there are nonprofits out there like the YMCA who are committed to humanity. Living healthy is very critical. Please, why don't you call Peter? His phone number is at the bottom of our screen. Call him, sign up, and let's finish the course. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And when I come back, you're going to say he said it. And those of you who know me know once I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Because at the end of the day, we are examples. We are God's eyes. We are God's hands. We are God's heart. Let's make sure we are being very reflective of who he is. I thank you for taking time to be with me today. And I pray that our time that we spent together today was well shared. Until the next time we get together, may the Lord God bless you real good. Thank you for watching this episode of Coffee with Curry. Tune in next week, Sunday at 11 a.m.